president's intent was to stay in power at all costs. This election was stolen from... And flat out said, I swore an oath. I'm not going to break it. I'm not putting on no stinking circus. They put their faith in Donald Trump, and he deceived them. I don't think by any large stretch can you characterize it as bipartisan. The select committee laid the path down for the Department of Justice. Donald Trump is going to be the defendant and the candidate. It's hard to imagine how it's going to play out. New documentary examines the criminal cases against former President Trump resulting from his 2020 election loss. Democracy on Trial features interviews from members of the January 6th committee, election officials in Georgia, and much more. Joining us now is the director, Michael Kirk. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. It's great, morning. great to be here. We, we hinted a little bit in it right there at the intro, but how has what the January 6th committee probe, uh, did, what they uncovered or did, how has that affected the cases that Donald Trump is facing now in the court system? One of the things when we started to make this film, one of the things that surprised me uh, uh, more than almost anything else was the extent to which the indictments against uh, uh, former President Trump by Jack Smith, the special counsel, grew largely out of the hearings that were on television. Uh, eight or nine of those hearings were televised uh, 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 a year plus ago. The extent to which that committee's investigation, which was uh, largely uh, a lot of complaints about whether it was too partisan or not, anyway, the extent to which uh, that committee came up with criminal findings about uh, former President Bush uh, is completely representative and replicated by the charges by uh, Jack Smith. So that if you want to understand the trial and understand the politics of the whole situation, uh, uh, we decided we had to go back and examine what happened with the uh, with the committee as well. I wonder, as you're making this, if you're wondering whether you're just going to be preaching to, to the choir, did, does it run through your head, okay, what do Trump supporters, what do they want to know? Is there anything that would possibly convince them to see this differently? Did you find that nugget in, in producing this documentary? Uh, I, I wish they would watch. I hope they would watch. Uh, one of the things we did that I think is a lot different than than uh, other things, stories that have been done on this was we made sure we talked primarily to conservative Republicans, former Trump supporters who, for one reason or another, were involved in the case and involved in the stop the steal moment. Quite uh, uh, revealing interviews we've done with uh, Rusty Bowers in Arizona uh, uh, and others in Georgia, uh, Secretary of State Raffensperger, for example, or Raffensperger. It, 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 it was very important to us as we made the film that the film do something uh, and reveal things that might be surprising to people who are MAGA supporters and Trump supporters. Uh, I hope they watch. Uh, uh, obviously, there's the potential to preach to the choir on this when maybe people have made their minds up, but it is actually the most important uh, presidential election, certainly in my lifetime. And uh, the primary issue right now, as the election season begins, is what happened on January 6th? What did Donald Trump do? What didn't he do? Uh, what matters? What seems to be against the law? What is the argument all about? It seems to be in the rearview mirror, but it isn't really. And a lot of the polls and other things indicate things that uh, uh, would lead us to believe people don't really understand what happened there. So we thought we'd go back and lay it out as cleanly as possible, using largely Republican voices in the as witnesses. Uh, and uh, and the January 6th committee as uh, as uh, investigators. Uh, and in the balance there somewhere is uh, the glimmer of the truth of maybe what happened. And I, I hope, I hope it's not just uh, anti-Trump people who will watch the film. It, it, it airs in lots of different ways and, uh, and it's two and a half hours long. And, it, uh, and I hope uh, that it can reach uh, others as well. Well, it's Democracy on Trial. It airs tomorrow night on PBS. For more information, you can visit pbs.org. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you.